Anytime you call the police or um, you have interactions with the police, um, there would be a file. And I'm not talking about walking down the street and you say hello to us or come up to us at the coffee shop. Or, um, but anytime you pick up the phone, you call police and you make a report. So there's a, there's a record of what we are doing. And that's to justify our, um, our daily uh, activities and, and keep track of our interactions with the public. Um, mental health is not a criminal offense, and, but we still have to uh, keep track of what we, what we do when we are dealing with mental health. And the way we keep track of that is we have to create a, uh, an electronic file and, um, and uh, we document the actions that we took or didn't take. So sometimes we have a file that says we came, we saw, and we, um, we didn't think that this was a mental health crisis, and that is the end of that file. I think people should always be uh, aware of any record, whether it's your credit score, your banking information, or your inter the interaction with, with police. Um, somebody who has regular interactions with the police, there usually is a reason for that. Uh, but on a single incident um, with regard to mental health, I, I don't think people need to be worried about that. It's not a, it's not a criminal record. It's not a, a derogatory record. Um, everybody has mental health issues at some point in their life, I'm, I'm sure.